so the next thing we're going to do is create a table of contents. Now you probably already create different headers and subheaders by changing the size of the font or bolding it or underlining it. And that's great. But in order to create a table of contents, you need to do something a little bit different. So I'm going to go to my first heading right here where it says course description. And I'm going to go up to the toolbar where it says normal text. I'm going to click on that and go down to heading one. As you can see, it kind of changes what the font looks like. Now I'm going to go to my first subheader, course policies, highlight it. And normally it would say normal text. It looks something like that, but I'm going to make it heading two. Go down to attendance, and this is a subheader of course policies, so I'm going to make it heading three. As you can see, heading three is a gray color. So I'm just going to look through my syllabus and make sure that all my headings are correct. I went through and changed them all earlier. Now, everything looks good. As you can see, quarter one is an entirely new heading with new subheaders. In order to actually input my table of contents, I'm going to scroll up to the top. I'm going to go up to insert at the toolbar and go all the way down. The last option is table of contents. As you can see, the table of contents automatically inserts based on the headings and subheadings that I'd previously done. Now I'm just going to click on part of this table of contents and click on the link that comes up. As you can see, when I click on that, it takes me immediately to the part in the syllabus where that section is. Now that my syllabus is ready to go, I want to share it with my class. I went through before and created a group on Google Contacts Manager. This makes it easier for me to share things because I don't have to type in each email address individually. I'm going to go to the upper right hand corner where it says share and type in the name of that group that I previously created. Click on it when it comes up and as you can see the members of that group come up immediately. So before I actually send this, I'm going to go change the sharing settings from can edit here on the right hand side to can view. I'm going to go click this blue button on the bottom that says send. Now over the course of a semester, a due date might change. So I'm going to go back up to my table of contents and just click on one of these units here where I know there's a due date. Click on that link. Now I'm going to change the due date for this essay from September 9th to September 10th. So I'm going to highlight it. Again, go up to the toolbar where it says insert and come down to towards the middle where it says comment. Now I'm just going to write in the new due date. I'm going to click comment. And in order to notify my students that this due date has actually been changed, I'm going to go up to share in the upper right hand corner and share it again. I'm going to type in the name of that group once more. And again, I'm going to go to the right hand side and edit the sharing settings to can view. And I'm just going to add a note. So when I send this email, they will get the syllabus again attached to an email along with this note in the body of the email.